Hey guys. hey guys, welcome back to the Moran family. So today's video is going to be a QA, and a wow. which is why I have Benny here with us. You say yeah. hi. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's always so talkative whenever I try to film. But I asked you guys over on my Instagram to send in like any questions that you had for me and Benny. And you guys came up with a few. So we're going to try to get through as many as we can. So the first one is, What's your favorite physical attribute from each other? Brittany's eyes. I'm a sucker for beautiful eyes. <laughs> for me, I would say it's probably your eyelashes. Wow. And your dimple. Your eyelashes and your dimple. Gets all of them. Are you guys happy with the house you chose? No. What? Really? <laughs> I don't like it. I think what do you mean? For our first time, it's all right, I guess, but there's a lot of things that like we didn't notice when we first moved in well, that I wish yeah. I did, which I guess, you know, it's like first homeowner's mistakes, whatever, but also we were on like a time constraint because, you know, like I had to hurry up and pick a house and like for my 10 days of like house hunting leave. Well, yeah, and we had, we had a lot going on too when we bought this house because I was pregnant with Everly. And literally, I think it was like we had clothes on the house and then the day after I gave birth to her, I believe. Yeah, something like that. So it was just like crazy. And then, yeah, the military was kind of like on him about like you need to find a house. So like he said, we were on a time crunch. I like this house. I mean, I think it's a great house, especially for like our first time buying but i do understand like where he's coming from because as a like first time homeowner there's like things that you don't necessarily look for and now that we've been living in the house for is it has it been two years yeah in and august it'll be two years so now that we've been like living here there's like just things that i noticed that they cut corners on like the flooring um like just like little things like that you can tell that they didn't like necessarily do it the best they kind of just did it like super they kind fast. of yeah they were trying to just get it knocked out flip the house and sell it yeah and just so. make it look like cosmetically good on the outside yeah. you know what i'm saying i feel like this one is my favorite house out of all the other houses we've lived in previously we were in military housing and I don't know. Well, I think they just didn't feel like I think home. you like yeah, I think you like it more because you can decorate it the way you want to and not worry about like oh, we're going to be moving out of this house at the end of the year or something like that, you know? Where do you guys see yourself in 5 years? Oh. I don't think we'll be in this house in 5 years. Uh, I mean, it all depends cuz I know I think it's only until I try to like leave here, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. So like we could be here for years and then I can finally be like, hey, I want to go somewhere else and try to like put in orders for somewhere else. But five years from now, I'll be already done with my latest contract because I signed up for another four this last year. Depending on where I'm at, then it'll depend on if I stay active duty for the next 10 years or try to go guard a reserve or just get out altogether. We'll just have to see play by ear. It's a gamble on where we're going to be in the next five years. Could be here, well, could be me. somewhere else. I would like to five years. Mm -hmm. Oh, might be having another baby by then too. Maybe. Five years. I guess yes, as he said, because he kind of like spilled Rory. the beans already. Because that's like a hot question that everybody always. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> He's sitting next to us watching videos. She can't even hear us because she has he... headphones on. <laughs> way before Rory was doing whatever she was doing yes um we probably will have another kid in five years um but I don't know five years because I was gonna say you think that's a good goal you probably get that with before then you think so yeah hopefully within the next two because I was going to say what I just whispered to him is um, in the next five years, 100,000 subscribers. But now that I, like, I'm like i saying that out loud, I would want to be even further than that in five years. Yeah, in five years, I think I'm, you should be shooting for at least, like, yeah. at least. Because I'm slowly getting closer to 50,000. Like 500,000, but that's like. So maybe five hundred, maybe three hundred thousand subscribers would be cool by then. That kind of leads us to our next question, which literally 
like mm. so many people ask this question daily i get it constantly every single time i do like my friday chats if you guys don't know what that is on my instagram every single friday i dedicate my day to like chatting with you guys linking things like answering questions and the number one question i always get is are we having more babies any plans for baby number five uh, we told ourselves probably like when we hit 30, we'll see where we're at. But we want to give the girls some time to grow. That way Jade will be pushing five years old. I'm conflicted because I don't, like I've always told myself that 30 is my, 30 is my limit. Like I don't want to go past 30 and have a newborn. And I know that's probably like odd to some people, but I don't know. Like I just don't want to be past 30 starting all over with another baby. I don't Which, care. Which My mom is like just had really one at close. 40 something, so. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I don't know, because I turned. What do I turn this year? You turn 27? I turn 27? Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> She'll be 27 in November, and I'll be 26 in October. Yeah, so that only leaves like. Young game. That only leaves a couple more years to have a baby then, because. Yeah, but like I said. I don't know, we'll just see. Which is crazy because when I was pregnant with Jade, I was like, yeah, she's definitely probably like our last child. Like, I, want that I think this is it. But <laughs> Benny is over here like, no, I want another baby, I want another baby. So. Yeah, I want a son, but I mean, I, ultimately, like, as long as we have a healthy baby, that's all that matters. But I'm outnumbered over here, he four is. to one, so. He is. I don't want to have a little dog that's a boy. Like, I don't got nothing. I, the closest thing I got is, is Moon, and he's a fish. So, <laughs> if not, then, hey, I'll be outnumbered five to one again. That would be but so crazy. Another girl. Oh, my goodness. But I don't know. Shoot. We'll see. What would be your second choice for a job if you didn't have YouTube or the military? That's a good question. I think for me, if I wasn't doing YouTube. Oh, she's like, don't. My hair I, think your hair. I think if I wasn't doing YouTube, I want I would either be like, well, I don't know. See, because I was thinking about this question the other day when it was sent in. Because what I really wanted to do before I did YouTube was an ultrasound technician, and I like really, really wanted to do that. But when I was sitting here thinking about it, I don't think I'd want to do that anymore because after everything we went through with Everly, I don't think I would ever be able to like give that kind of news to a mom because I think it would affect me and it would be too personal. I wanted to go to medical school be a doctor. Uh, I was going to try to be a cardiologist which is a heart surgeon. But that's crazy. That's really like I don't think I have the steady hands for it anyways but I would want to do something medical wise. Uh, I think like my career field, we get to help people, but not too much. And that's one of the main things that I really wanted to do. Where is your favorite place to shop? Where do you shop at, babe? I feel like you never Game shop. Stop. No. <laughs> all I really, yeah, all I really get is... Just... The most expensive thing I, I buy is more video games. I kind of just, with the regular graphic tee or just a plain t-shirt, I'm okay with it, so. Yeah, Benny, like, wears, like, the same things. Because yeah. he's usually in his uniform, so exactly, it's like. So. But for me, me, like, my favorite place to shop, I would say right now is probably Shein. Because you can get, like, 20 tops for, like, $100 or cheaper, if not. So, I know a lot of people are against shopping there, but I... Like shopping there. And then for the girls, hey. for Jade, I get a lot of her clothes. Hey. <laughs> I get a lot of Jade's clothes from Amazon. I actually film like a Amazon haul of all of like my favorite clothing and accessories for her. So I'll link that down below. But I love shopping there. I also love Kate Quinn. They have like the cutest baby like neutral clothing. You guys know I love my neutrals. And then for Aurora and Layla, Old Navy is usually where I shop because they have a lot of like good deals, always sales. So that's where I like to shop. How do you budget? So awesome to see three girls, a house, and still fun activities. We factored in a lot of this stuff that like our bills and stuff. We already make sure like we put money aside for that. And then we kind of just whatever we got left over, try to plan out and see what we can do with it. Yeah. Um, I feel like we don't budget that much honestly i feel like we're not like okay like 
this is for here this is for here like i feel like we're not super strict on it but for the most part like we know like what bills hit around like the first what bills hit after the 15th because the way the military works is you get paid every first of the month and then every like 15th of the month yeah and then for groceries i'll go more in depth on this because this is another question too but for groceries i shop like weekly and then i budget that too and then whatever is like left over is for like activities or like if the girls need clothes um so yeah, that's pretty much it. The next question is pretty funny because what form of birth control are you on? Yeah, Brittany, tell us. <laughs> How's your life now with three kids? <laughs> uh, sorry, family, if you're watching this. Yeah, sorry, mom and dad. We like practicing <laughs> for future babies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you ever struggled with mental health and what helps you on bad days? I know for me, after everything with Everly, it was pretty rough. But I think that's where the military kind of came in to help me. I don't know, there's a lot of training on resiliency and like pushing forward and continuing on. And Grant and I haven't been in any combat or anything crazy like that, luckily. But I think that mentality of always pushing forward and, and being strong not only for yourself, but those that you care about and those that you love. There's going to be rough days and there's going to be good days and there's going to be even harder times that come along. But it's always, you got to find that why. Why are you here? Why do you want to be here? And what do you want going forward? And for me, that was, I want my, my family to know that I love them and I know that they love me. And that I still got to be the best father and best husband that I can be. Well, I don't know how I'm supposed to follow up after that answer. That was like such a like beautiful like thought felt answer <laughs> and i'm over here like i don't, I don't know because i feel like i struggle with that honestly you do but i mean because i feel like i'm so busy throughout the day that i just like i don't sit down and i don't like really have time to think about things honestly yeah but i mean we've had sat there and talked and we have like, yeah i mean i guess on my my harder days i basically come to him i tell him like <laughs> hey I, like i'm having like a bad day or like i tell him to like just hug me and then he'll help me out with the girls. Is there any advice for first time dads? Be flexible. I was young. I was 17 when I found out that Brittany was pregnant and I turned 18 the month before Layla was born. So as a young dad and shoot, I guess I would be considered like a teenage dad still kind of, but yeah. Um, just be, be flexible, but always just try to be better than those that came before you and try to be the best dad you can be for them. Uh, whether it's your son or daughter, whatever it is, even if you're a stepdad, uh, just stay flexible, be there for her, and just be there for your children in general. Try to be the best man you can be, best father you can be. How do you meal plan? Okay. So I got a lot of people asking this question too. Yeah. So what I've been doing lately is Instacart and every single Sunday I sit down and I, you know, I go through like the cabinets, I go through the fridge. That's the first thing I do is kind of like look through everything, see what we have. Then I write down everything that we need. So I write that down on my list and then I will go on like Pinterest or like Google or whatever it is, look through any cookbooks that I have and I will plan out six meals for the week because Sunday we just do leftovers to kind of like clear out the fridge for the week. So Sundays is leftover day. So I plan out six meals and then yeah, I pretty much just order the groceries through Instacart and I try to cap the price point at a hundred, but sometimes it goes over, especially if we're out of like household goods like toilet paper, um, diapers wipes then that will raise the price but as far as like food goes i try to cap it at a hundred how long do you plan to homeschool your babies till so honestly i was not planning on homeschooling this song it was kind of just like a quick solution that we thought of because again i was pregnant with everly and i had given birth to her in august 
so that's typically when like school is you know kind of starting again so and we didn't have a house yet either so we were getting closer and we needed to enroll Layla we didn't know like the area of where we live now we didn't know any of that because like I said we didn't have a house yet I was extremely pregnant and I didn't want Layla to miss like you know like a month or so of school and we didn't want to send her off to school right away especially you know grieving and everything so we decided to do homeschool and we stuck with it and now I feel like we continuously are doing homeschool due to the pandemic because a lot of schools aren't open yeah. there's a lot of like restrictions so I don't know it's kind of hard to say kind of just playing it ear by ear right now will you guys be PCSing anytime soon that kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier I, I'm not a hundred percent sure but like I said I think we can stay here for the next couple of years but I also thinking about the girls they will be more further along in school and you know I don't want her to to make all these friends and then kind of have to leave but I mean that's kind of how kinda the military the is <laughs> yeah so I know well, also too we waited till Jade got older than like what if we do that yeah I know that's we just it's tricky so like I said if it is up to us on when we go um we'll probably be a little while from now but if it if we're Whenever they send us, it's kind of whenever they send us. But like I said, I got to get more information on that because I probably shouldn't know that stuff. This question is for you. It says, Benny, would you encourage the girls to join the military when they are older? Um, I don't know. That's a hard one. It's not because like, I just want them to be able to do what they want to do. So if they do come to me and ask about like joining the military and they don't really have any plans or like goals that they... They kind of want to see it. I think it would be beneficial to them to kind of just give them um, that purpose and stability. Yeah, stability and giving that experience to grow as an adult because you're pretty much on your own. And if yeah, if they're coming to me straight out of high school like that, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know. Like I have no idea where I want to go. Like I have no idea on school. I think the military would be a good job, a good you know, starting point for them, just so that way they can, uh, you know, like have those experiences and go out experience the real world just on their own. Granted, there's a lot of like drama and kind of like high school mentality for those coming right out of high school going straight into the military. So I don't know. It all depends on, on where they're at in their lives and where they're at. And also like I would make sure that they, they don't get, they just thrown into something. Any family vacation plans? I hope so. <laughs> I mean, we were both talking about it at the beginning of the year, kind of like for New Year's, like what do we want to do differently and like kind of like New Year's resolutions in a way, mm -hmm. but it's like we want to try to go and explore. Uh, that was one of my main reasons for joining was being able to go to different places and and we only went to Hawaii and, and came then back now here. We're back so in California. if we are going to be here for a while, I would want to go and at least visit some different places. Uh, we got friends in Europe right now that are in Germany. Uh, cool. So maybe go out there and visit them. I honestly really want to go to Japan. Like I always really loved the, the culture and the food. So I mean I know Brittany's not a big fan of the idea, but not like, against it. Like I would like to go too, but he like wants to PCS there, and I don't know if I want to live there. You know? Well, yeah, but I could. Like what I'm saying is like for visiting. Like if we do get the chance to like. Oh well, yeah, I would go stuff. visit. Yeah. I want to go. Disneyland. I want to go they so got, bad. Do you have a Disneyland in Japan? They do. That's like one of my goals in life is to visit every single Disney park. And so far, the only ones we've been to is the one in California, obviously. And then we went to the Disney Resort in Hawaii. So the last question we'll do today is: Do you see yourselves permanently living in California? No. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is straight out no. No. Uh, I think. Right now it works because the girls are young, they get to see their family and stuff like that, yeah. which is really big blessing because a lot of the people that are in the military, like for my, my friends for instance, they have their sons and you know, they barely get to visit home. So it's been a blessing being back, but permanently living in California, yeah, I definitely don't see us being here. I would like to travel more if it's possible and just go somewhere different. Yeah, I think, where would you want to retire? Or like, where would you want to end up at? Colorado in the mountains. That's what I was thinking too, but Colorado is still pretty expensive. Yeah. So I was thinking maybe 
even Texas. Texas? Somewhere okay, where I can get I was, a lot of land for a really cheap. Too. I think, yeah, either Texas or somewhere in Midwest. But then again, it's also kind of scary because like tornadoes and stuff like that. But I know. But I'm, I'm like so scared of natural disasters. That's like my biggest fear. But I mean, we're in California right next to the San Andreas fault line. So, you know, like. I mean, we're in the middle of the desert. I feel. I feel we good. would probably be okay up here, but like. Yeah, I don't know. All right, but, guys. Well, yeah, I think this, so we're, we're going to go ahead yeah. and end it here. Hopefully, Jade wasn't too crazy. I'm so <laughs> sorry, you guys. I swear, in my last couple of videos, she's just been so crazy. She is very active, as you can see. She loves attention, she loves playing. She definitely keeps us running around the house. Yeah. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the Moran, the Moran family. family. And make sure you hit that bell. That way you guys always get notified every single time we upload. And we'll see you guys in our next video. See ya. Bye.